Hi, this is Grace Pamela with Samrata.com and I wanted to show you how to use and upload Photoshop actions in Photoshop. So here I just grabbed um, any image. I'm not working on editing this image, so I just grabbed one that's already been edited. And I wanted to show you where your action panel is. So your action panel would be normally right here and it would be a big play button. But I took it down so I can show you where to find it in case you don't see it there. So to find your action panel, you want to go to Window and go down to Actions and select it. Now your action panel will show up. These are ones that I already loaded into my action panel. So to load a new one, you would want to go to this drop down button here and select Load Actions. Once you select that, your uh, computer folder will pop up. It will usually open up to the last folder you were working in. So this one, um, it already has my action here, but it might not show your actions at all. You might be wondering, well, where are my actions? Um, so you have to actually go into your computer and go to the place where you last uploaded them. It might be your desktop. Maybe you downloaded it to your desktop. And again, I'll show you really quick. I put it, I downloaded it and put it right here so I knew where it was. And then later on, you can go ahead and make folders to keep them organized. So you can make like an action folder or you can uh, make any folder anywhere in your computer as long as you know where it is. So you want to again go to load actions, find it on your computer. You can also search for ATN and usually most of your ATM files will pop up. And um, you'll go ahead and select load. So to tell if it's an action, because nothing else will be able to upload. You can't upload um, PNGs, you can't upload JPEGs, you can't upload any other file in the action panel except for actions, which are ATM files. So you can see here it's an ATM file, or you can right click, go to properties, and you can see where it says type of file, it'll say ATM. You might not see a huge icon like this also, it just depends what you have your computer set as. Right now I have it set as large icon, but it might be a list, it might be small like that, it might be, you know, whatever your computer has set, it might be different. So you can go ahead and change it if you like, or whatever makes it easier. Once you have your action, you can go ahead and select load. So now I have my action collection loaded into my action panel. And you can close it and open it, and you can organize it however you like it. The only thing is, is if you close Photoshop, there isn't a 100% guarantee that it'll automatically upload or still be there when you open it again. So you want to make sure you always have your actions backed up. So you want to have it uploaded maybe on a folder on your computer and in a folder in your external hard drive. So you always make sure you have them. So once you have it, you can go ahead and select this arrow down here and it will open your action panel. So there are all kinds of actions. Some of them run in groups. So it plays several actions all in one or several effects all in one. I'll show you that really quick. And some of them are just standalone. So this image has already been edited. So it's way too strong and I don't need it that strong. So I'm going to go ahead and go up here. You see this is the group right here. You can turn it on and off with this eye here. And you can open the group and you can go ahead and turn things off in the group that you don't need, or you can also change the opacity of things. So you can lower the opacity of that effect. So these are all effects that I created in Photoshop and that were created in Photoshop. And these are the effects um, types, and you can see there are different blending modes. So like this lighten layer, it's on screen blending mode. You can change the blending modes of things, but I mostly just leave them because the effect will, won't necessarily work as well if you do change it because that's the way it's set up. And then you can also again change the opacity um, of each individual layer inside or you can just change the opacity of the entire group. If you don't like the effect you can just turn it off and go ahead and select flatten. Another thing you can do if you have other actions playing or if you have different layers and you don't want to flatten everything, you can go ahead and just drag it down to this trash bin here. So another action I'm going to show you really quick. 
um, some of them will have a, this action will create a before snapshot for you and it will flatten before it plays. It says it must do that because a lot of times you have, um, let's say, you have a background copy. And then you go down here and the action tries to play an action and it won't work because the background is completely covering that action up, that effect up. So a lot of times um, actions that will have that mess up, it will just flatten before. So what you can do, what it does, is you can go ahead and just play it the way it is and it'll give you the warning and you press continue. And now it played the action but if you don't like it and you kind of want it back to the way it was, obviously you can just delete it. But you can also go into your history panel here. And right here is a snapshot in case you want to take your own snapshot before you play another action. But you'll see it created a snapshot for you. So if you don't like it, you can just go right back up to your old snapshot before that. If you already know what you're doing with your layers and you know it won't, you'll be able to set it so that it doesn't affect um, it the wrong way. You can go ahead and skip and go down to select layer background or duplicate current. So go ahead and press play. And then there it didn't have to flatten to play the action. So I'm going to go ahead and show you luminance. And here you'll see I'm going to go over layer mask really quick. This one you can see it was just a simple one step action. You can see there's lots of steps in creating it, but you'll see that it's not in a group and it's not too difficult. So some of them will be in groups and some of them will not be. So going over layer mask, here you'll see white means reveal and black means conceal. So right now if you turn it on and off, you can see the effect on the image. If you want to conceal some parts of the image, like let's say it's too bright on their skin, then you would go over it to your toolbar over here and select your brush and you want to use a black brush to conceal parts of your white layer mask since black um, conceals. So you can go up here and select the hardness of your brush. If it's too hard it'll be very, you can see the line. So you, sometimes you want hard, sometimes you don't. It depends on the effect and the image. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose 0% hardness and you can select the, the size right here or you can use the bracket keys on your keyboard. So now that I have my soft black paintbrush you can go ahead and paint on your white layer mask and you'll see over here it's um, covered, it's concealed in some parts and you can also change the opacity of your brush up here. So now it's a little too bright on her skin, so I'm going to go ahead and brush it off of their skin. So now you can see it was concealed around the edges and off of her skin. So now you can see the whole image is more bright, except for the parts where I erased. Now if you make a mistake, let's, let's say I just went down there and I wanted that part to be bright, you can go ahead and select a white paintbrush and you can just paint it right back. So now it's right back. And let's say I don't like it dark around the edges, I just want it off their skin, I can go ahead and paint it right back. Another thing you can do also is you can just grab this layer mask and drag it down to the trash bin, select delete, and you can go ahead and add a whole new layer mask either by clicking here or in your tools make a new reveal all layer mask or make a hide all layer mask. So this one would be a black layer mask and this one would be a white layer mask. And go ahead and press play, continue, and there you go. Now you have a new layer mask to work from. I have my black paintbrush selected. I'm going to brush it off their skin. And there we go. Sometimes when you're trying to upload files, I just want to go over this really quick, you'll get could not complete this request because it's not the right type of document. 
A lot of people will think, well, there's something wrong with the downloads and not working, but really it's just about not loading the right format and the right file into Photoshop. So I just really quick want to go over that again. So this is the ATM file. This is the only file that can be loaded into that Photoshop action panel, the ATM file. Nothing else can be. So if you upload a JPEG or a PNG or anything like that, it will not work. So your brushes would be needed to be uploaded here. And you would go down here, click this arrow, click this little widget, and you would select load brushes. And that's only for ABR file brushes. Nothing else can be loaded in there except for brushes. And if you wanted to upload overlays, you'd have to go to file, open. Another way to upload overlays through actions is you can go ahead and select apply animal overlay or whatever type of overlay you're trying to um, upload. You can go ahead and press play. And again, I uploaded it already, so it popped up for me, but you have to actually search your computer. And this is where you can go ahead and select an overlay and select place. This is the only time you can actually place an overlay in the action section. So you go ahead and press play, and this is because the action is doing all that work for you. And then once you have it set where you want it, you can go ahead and select the check mark. And there you have uploaded a overlay into your layers panel with actions. So that's really the only time you can upload overlays um, if you have an action that does it for you. So really quick, I want to go down to the workflow tools. You'll see that it gives you options. You can make a snapshot. Again, you can keep track of all your edits here. So a lot of times I like to do a before and an after, and I like to take snapshots along the way so that way I don't lose any details. And you can add a reveal and hide. You can zoom, zoom in and zoom out, fit on screen, flatten image, and all of that fun stuff. Now, I really quick wanted to show you if you're using something other than um, Photoshop CS6 and CC, and you're using an older version, I want to show you really quick that we can, that everything is pretty much the same there. So here I have my Photoshop CS2 open. It's one of the oldest ones. I'm going to really quick just select any image. This is one of my daughter Liliana. And here is my action panel. Again, everything is pretty much exactly the same. You go to Window and select Actions in case you don't see it. And here you'll select this little arrow and you'll go to Load Actions. I already uploaded it, so I have it right here. Everything plays pretty much the same. Press play. And here you can brush it off by selecting your brush, which is right here. And you can select the color of your brush right here. I'm going to brush it off of her. And here you can see the opacity of your brush and the hardness of your brush right here just so you know where everything is, just in case. And here is your group, and I brushed it off of her. You can open the group by clicking here, and you can adjust the opacity of each part, however you like it. If you don't like it, you can turn it off and then flatten, or drag it down right here. If you want to add a layer mask, let's say I don't like that one, go ahead and drag it down and delete it. And your layer mask is right here, or you can go ahead and select make a new reveal all layer mask. And there we go. That's how you upload actions and use them in Photoshop CS2 and the older versions. So I really hope that was helpful and I hope you learned lots um, about uploading and using actions in Photoshop. If you ever have any questions, you are free to email us at any time at support at .com. And thank you so much for watching.